Just so you know, after every statement. Hear this word of the Lord. Blow the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm on the holy mountain. Let every human being on the earth tremble for the day of the Lord is coming. It is at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess like the morning cloud spread over the mountains. There is a people that is coming great and strong. The like of whom has never been. Nor will there ever be any such after them. Even for many successive generations. A fire devours before them. And behind them a flame burns. The land is like the Garden of Eden. And behind them is a desolate wilderness. Surely nothing shall escape. Their appearance is like the appearance of horses and like swift steeds, so they run with a noise like the chariots over mountains, they leap like the noise of a flaming fire that devours the stubble, like a strong people set in battle array before them. The people writhe in pain. All faces are drained of color. They run like mighty men. They climb the wall like men of war. Everyone marches in formation. And they do not break ranks. Everyone marches in his own column. And when they lunge between the weapons, they are not cut down. They run to and fro on the city. They run on the wall. They climb into the houses. Then enter at the windows like a thief. The earth quakes before them. The heavens tremble. The sun and the moon grow dark. And the stars diminish their brightness. The Lord gives voice before his army, for his camp is very great. For strong is the one who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and terrible. Who can endure it? Now therefore, says the Lord, turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning, rend your garments, rend your hearts, not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and he is merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. And he relents from doing harm. Who knows if he will turn and relent? And leave a blessing behind him. A grain offering and a drink offering. For the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Consecrate a fast. Call a sacred assembly. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Assemble the elders. Gather the children and the babies. Let the bridegroom go out from his chamber. And, and, and the bride from her dressing room. Let the priest who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord. And do not give your heritage to reproach. That the nation should rule over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? 
Then the Lord will be zealous for his land and pity for his people. The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send you grain and new wine and oil and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach among the nations. This is the word of the Lord. And it shall come to pass. Afterward. This is the word of the Lord. This is what my father says. He says. I will pour out my spirit. Upon all flesh. Your sons. And your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men. Shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit in those days and I will show you wonders in the heavens and in the earth. This is the word of the Lord.